Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS gaming laptop here. This one is an ASUS top gaming laptop. They do come with a Ryzen 7 CPU and a GTX 1660 Ti model. This can be a little bit different and in this video what I'm going to show you guys how to uh, open it up, how you can upgrade the RAM easily at home uh, without taking it to any service shop center. And it's really easy, it doesn't require much of tools and it's really safe to do it. This, this one, a specific one is an ASUS uh, FX505D model. This applies for any ASUS FX500 series laptop, so they're pretty much they are the same way of upgrading. So I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to be needing and uh, how much RAM you should add. All right, first thing first, to know how much RAM you need to add on your laptop, maximum capacity for your laptop, I made a video, a specific one minute long video, and there's only one command on this command prompt you type in there, and it will show you the RAM uh, capacity that you can have on your laptop. And this one can go, I believe, up to 64 gig RAM, or maybe higher, you guys can leave me in the video comment, check that out. I'll check it out once I install the Windows on this one. But the recommended version in the gigabytes on the RAM is 16 gigabytes for gaming. If you guys are going to do any sorts of gaming, go 16 gigs. Don't go over to, don't overkill it. But if you're going to do some video editing, 4K video editing, anything like that production, then you do want to go up to 24 gig or 32 gig or 64 gig if you wish. This one comes up with an 8 gig. So we're going to just add another 8 gig RAM on this one. And we already have it right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to add that extra 8 gigabyte in here. So first thing first, you need a few tools. Tool number one, a screwdriver set. I use iFixit screwdriver set. As always, recommend this one. They have an S2 classic steel bits right here. We're going to use that Phillips number one. And also, we're going to need an opening tool. For the opening tool, you can get the Pro version which they give you an opening tool, but if you don't want to get the pro version, go with the uh, guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers. All right, once you power off the laptop completely, on the bottom cover of the laptop, on the bottom side, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws exposed right here. You're going to remove all the screws. Keep in mind that there's two sets of screws in here, the short ones and the long ones. The short screws are the one in the middle and the one on the front end of the laptop, the front row. The long screws are the side to side and the back row of the laptop, right, right at the back end. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos and helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do it by clicking that like button on the video and subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, and it will be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests or answer your questions on the video comments. I really appreciate it. All right, once you remove all the screws, all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit. You want to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover. Somewhere in there, just squeeze it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. And now you want to twist it, twist it out inward towards the keyboard. Just go ahead and twist it towards the keyboard. And you should hear a few clickings. That's what you want to hear. You want to go all around in the front and you want to just twist, twist, and you should see it opening already. Go on the side where the USB port, HDMI port is, go all the way halfway through, right where the second, before the HDMI right there. Let me show you guys. I'm just going to stop right after a second USB. And then I'm going to continue all the way on the right side, on the left side, all the way back to the corner. Just squeezy, squeezy, and get yourself to the back corner on this side. And then you want to close it down and you want to do the back end of the laptop here. You want to start from one corner, just stick your guitar pick in there and just twist it towards the back cover. I'm just flipping it towards there. 
and once you get it loose just put the face down lift up from this side that you remove the whole thing bring it up and it will just simply release the other side All right this is the bottom end of the inside the lab type here there's a battery, you do not need to remove the battery to do the RAM upgrade at all, it's not necessary, it's not important to do it, you never do it, I've been doing this over 18 years, so people are like, you should remove it, you don't, but if you want to be one of those person that wants to remove it, just put your fingers by these two jacks and pull it back and that's it, you don't need to, but I'm not going to remove it. Alright, the RAM is right here, you have two RAM dims available, one is being occupied, to remove the RAMs. All you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other and the RAM will come up in 45 degree angle just like that. Once you got the RAM in this position, now you want to just slide it out in the same position outward. You don't want to yank it upward, otherwise you're going to break the dim or break the RAM. And if you want to install the RAM, just bring it down and make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim. Bring it down in 45 degree angle. In 45 all the way towards the dim make sure it snaps right through and then you push it towards the motherboard and you should hear these two triggers clicking just like that grab the new ram bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way towards the dim and towards the motherboard and that's all that's what you want to do now there's a trick right now and it does happen all the time once you put the new RAM in here, you put it up, you might not, it might take to 5 to 10 seconds before the BIOS do a memory check. So be patient once you turn it on for 5 to 10 seconds. If after 10 seconds, there's still no, no, no image on the screen, then power it off. Then you want to replace the RAM, just switch the places and then power it on again, wait 5 to 10 seconds. And then it will just show the screen. So I'm just going to put the screws back on and we're going to power it on to see. You can power it on without putting the cover. You don't need the cover to power it. You simply open it up and power it on. But I'm just, I'm confident that it's going to show up. But sometimes it does happen. So let's go ahead and put down the cover straight over and just squeeze down the back side. Make sure those clicks, the front and grab the back side and just squeeze them, pinch them together. And even the front end, open up a little bit and pinch the covers. And make sure you hear those clicks. Now you want to put the bottom screws. Remember the short screws, the one in the middle and the one in the front row of the laptop. Those are the short screws and the long, long ones on the side towards the back end of the laptop. I'm just going to fast forward this part so we can turn it on so you guys can see. Now that's done, let's go ahead and power it on. I'm going to press F12 or delete to go to the BIOS. And there we go, we got a screen already, so I'm just going to keep pressing. I think it's delete or F2. We have to sure, but there we have it. And there we have on the top side right here, my over lamp here is not letting you guys see. I do have my 16 gig NDDR4 installed right there. And that's how you upgrade your RAM for your ASUS FX505 or ASUS TOF gaming laptop. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, if you like the video, click that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.